Move to Katsina, where a string of attacks in parts of the state by bandits and kidnappers has confirmed speculations that criminal gangs have relocated from Zamfara to Katsina State. The last Saturday, nine people were killed and many taken away by the bandits. Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. A number of communities have suffered the bond of brutal attack by the criminal gangs leading to loss of lives and properties. The TVC News, along with their guide, picked up at Zango village and back on a very dangerous two-hour journey to Ericenta village. The journey took the crew very close to the main entrance of Renji Forest, where the bandits' camp are suspected to be existing. The terrain was difficult to ply, and along the way, settlements we passed by were either deserted or burned to ashes, with only a few Fulani settlements seen standing. Our guide, who didn't want to be captured on camera, revealed that from the last rainy season to date, over 200 people have been kidnapped and many killed by the bandits in the area. This is Ersanta village, where the bandits attacked most recently, burning the village down for reasons yet unknown. The village wears a desolate look, as most residents have fled for their lives for the fear of what might happen if they stay. They have no confidence in the security arrangement presently put in place by authorities and want more commitment from the government. The bandits have attempted to invade us for three times but did not succeed until now. And at every attempt we notify authorities and police but they always give us excuses. But much later they came and raided our town and arrested some of the youth. Our people have been killed, houses burned, cattle and many properties taken away by the bandits. The long convoy of police personnel which later visited the community, the heavily armed escort around the Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 1, Dan Baturi, only shows that even security personnel were taking no chances. Mr. Baturi told the Ersanta community that police was putting in place a more concrete arrangement to ensure security of lives and properties. You saw how difficult the place is in terms of terrain. Uh, there's no network here. It's really difficult, but at least I'm here with the Commissioner of Police, with the State CID, and we're trying to reassess so that we will plan a holistic operation that will further reassure the persons here of their safety. Uh, we, we are not just the police, but whatever intelligence we have, we share with our sister services. And, I, and from the terrain, you can believe, you can see that it is not an easy place. The district head of Kankara pleaded with authorities to come to the aid of the people who are now afraid to farm or carry out any economic activities. Abdullah Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Katana.